What's good, everybody? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Thanks for tuning in. Take a quick moment, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget that notification bell, guys, so you can get these videos as they drop. And I always want to hear from y'all, so get up in the comments, but check it out, man. Update on this whole Nick Cannon Eminem beef. And what's going on is Nick Cannon has now dropped a new diss track, right? But check it out, man. The track features um, some lines from the Eminem song, Foolish Pride. Now listen, this is something, this goes deep, this goes back. And um, pay attention, everyone. I really want to hear what you guys think about this because this is something I was always curious as to when people have had issues with Eminem that they did not bring up this Foolish Pride song. Because back, what was it? I believe it was 2003, Eminem had already ethered, ate up Benzino, right? Benzino got this tape from some um, dudes in Detroit who knew Eminem or worked with them, something like that, you know what I'm saying, who went back with M. And on the tape, before, you know, the tape even really came out like that, it, there was talk of it that it was a racist tape that Eminem was saying racial slurs. Um, there was a press conference that was held and actually uh, the rapper Crooked Eye, who just recently, you know, stuck up for Eminem, Crooked Eye, with Slaughterhouse and everything like that. He was saying he happened to be with Benzino that day when they went and just up into this press conference. He had no idea this was when Cro Crooked Eye was really still grinding, trying to get into the game after the role, Death Row 2.0 didn't work out. So anyways, um, getting back, that's just a little sidebar, y'all. I like to do that in my videos from time to time. I just kind of go off. It's off topic, but not really off topic. But anyways, um, when people heard this and when I heard this personally, my first thoughts was like uh, disappointed. Like, man, like I really, I think Eminem is dope. You know what I'm saying? And when I heard that there was word that Eminem had said some racist things in a rap song, I was like, no, man, like, why, Em? Come on, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think, man, I don't know, does anyone really believe that Eminem is racist? I don't believe that Eminem is, right? So anyways, uh, the tape, you know, is out. You can find it on YouTube if you type in Foolish Pride. It's a song where Eminem is saying, and I believe this is what Nick Cannon used in the song, uh, some of the lines were, black girls only want your money, um, uh, white girls aren't gold diggers, but black girls are things of that nature, right? And um, <clears throat> I, I don't remember all the lines to the song, obviously, um, but I thought this was it for Eminem. I thought Eminem was done, canceled, and somehow people in hip-hop really didn't like, I don't know, uh, some people were mad, said some things. I remember seeing the lock, Styles P, in an interview saying M needed his T's knocked out. But then I seen later, uh, M worked with them, I believe, on the Jada Kiss album. And, uh, I forget what the song oh, was, that Welcome to D-Block, the Mighty Mighty D-Block, um, at Pushers and Panhandlers and Pimps or some, something like that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Eminem got on the track with them talking about life in Yonkers, the streets in Yonkers. But I was just surprised. I thought that was it for Eminem. Well, this is the thing, too, is on the song, right? Um, a lot of people said, yo, I don't think that's exactly racist. Um, I'm not happy with that. He said it. But a lot of his friends took up for him and said, yo, this is something from Eminem when he was very, very young. Um, and they said they didn't exactly think it was racist. Eminem made a song called The Yellow Brick Road. It's on the Eminem show. Or no, I'm sorry, Encore. It's on Encore. And on that song, he describes the origins of the tape, where it came from. And um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he says basically what happened was that he got with the black girl whose name was Kim also. And she played him. She cheated on him. So when he was mad, he recorded this song saying, ah, oh, these black girls ain't... You know, only wants your money. I don't know. That's that's what Eminem says, right? But it seems most people gave him a pass and said, whatever, it was a stupid thing he did when he was young. We don't believe that Eminem is racist. 
Well, there was always word, I heard too, that there was other songs on, on a tape that they were using racial slurs and everything like that. I've never heard those songs. I don't know if that is true. It almost kind of seemed like a, a myth of hip hop because I didn't, I didn't see it. I, I didn't hear it. You know what I mean? I'll let you guys let me know your thoughts on this as well as everything else that I touch on in these videos for anyone who's new to the channel. But um, I thought it was over. I thought Benzino dug some dirt up on M that was going to bury Eminem. Well, getting back to all this now, um, you know, I, I was always curious why people never brought this up when they dissed Eminem. And now that's what Nick Cannon is doing. Those first two diss songs didn't really seem to do much. I think Nick Cannon, like, remember that first one? It was like almost the double the dislikes of the likes. You feel me? So... Nick Cannon now is trying to resort to, to using this tape, uh, you know what I'm saying, and going at M that way. Um, as far as Nick and M, I still, like, Nick already ethered himself, I believe, without Eminem even responding with a track. So that's just my feelings on that. But I'm really curious to know, what does everyone think of this whole Eminem tape of Eminem? Do you believe that he's racist? Because it's crazy, like, that's what was nuts about this is when this dropped, I remember seeing like a news flash on BET and MTV and Benzino talking about this and they had the tape and they, they were playing it. I believe, you know, he paid some bread for the tape too. He claims he didn't give the guys what they claim that they got. They claim they got more money. I don't know. But, um, you know, after that is when Benzino ended up, you know, being outed from the source and everything like that. Like it didn't work for Benzino. I was shocked. I really thought that that was it. I thought, I thought Benzino had a nail in the coffin for M after M hit him with the nail in the coffin on the diss track, but it just didn't work out that way. So I want everyone to get in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this whole situation. I also, if you guys haven't heard this song, go out, type in Eminem, Foolish Pride, and let me know your thoughts on, on it. You know, like listen to it now if you haven't. Uh, I want to get this discussion going. As I said, that's what my channel is all about, hearing from the people. So let's have a, a discussion in this comment thread. What do y'all feel about this? Is Eminem racist? Do you think that the song was racist? Do you think that it wasn't? Do you believe that it was something ignorant and dumb that he said that he didn't really mean when he was mad? Like, I really want to know because, like I said, this is just something that's been around for a long time but hasn't been discussed that much since, you know, what originally happened. So it's Jay Coffee Talk signing out. Thank you for tuning in. If you didn't already, hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.